So if you decided you're going to give something up for Lent and you haven't already done that, I have a suggestion. And you know, I did say that I wasn't going to concentrate this Lent on giving up something because usually when we talk about giving up something, we're giving up something that we love, something that uh, you know gets our heart like chocolate or something that you know is a pleasure. And this is kind of like an anti-pleasure, but it is something that that we hold on to very tightly, and that is, why don't we try to give up negativity? It's amazing how much negativity there is right now. And so if we were to try to give up negativity, it would be amazing. Uh, and there are some biblical things that, that say that. I know I'm not just talking about just being positive about things. I'm talking about the inner core of who we are uh, having joy and so there are some scriptures. Uh, Proverbs 1530 says, A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. Proverbs 1722 says, A joyful heart is good medicine, but depression drains one's strength. Proverbs 15, 13 through 15 says, A glad heart makes a happy face. A broken heart crushes the spirit. I think that that's so powerful for us to hear. And it goes on to say at the end, for the happy heart, life is a continual feast. So uh, that to me is something that if we're going to give up, why do we have to always give up the things that are fun? And, and I'm not saying that we shouldn't do some of that, but I'm saying, you know, it's so, so funny how we can become totally negative and feel like that's okay. So today I just want to say, give up negativity. The world's got enough of it without you. Have a great day.